Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. Now I'm going to take you for a walk around a Kyrgyzstan typical supermarket. It's right behind me, so let's go. The store I'm going to take you for a walk around is called Globus, but they've got the word Bereke in Russian right above it, which in English means blessing. So blessing Globus, or maybe it's a blessing we found this supermarket. I wonder what the reference to blessing is, but it's a blessing we found it. The first thing to note is actually the opening hours and this place is 24 seven. So this is very handy to come shopping 24 hours a day. Now in the entrance, they've got something quite interesting here. They've got one ATM machine, actually two, but they've got all of these payment kiosks. Now, if you're not from Russia or CIS countries, this is how you can pay for your uh, phone bill, water bill, electricity bill, any kind of payments that you have. You just basically find the one that you need to use, put in your account codes and feed money in as a payment. And the right thing to do when you come in these stores is to put your bag in one of these lock boxes and you get a key. That way, if you're bringing in a bag from outside, there's no problems with security. You might want to check your bag. And there is no shopping trolleys in this store. It's all baskets, literally all baskets. And these are the ones that I've shown quite a few times in my videos in Moscow. Uh, so people do, you know, simple shopping and don't you know, necessarily come here for lots of things. It's a little bit of a random section right here. Uh, baseball bat, barbecue accessories, pitchforks. It's quite a random assortment of things. Okay, now we're getting back on track here. Fruit and veg, all the normal kind of fare that I'm used to in Russian supermarkets. They have a little bit of variety of things here. So anything you possibly need. Is Kodak still making and selling batteries? I guess they are. And so here, peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, and a little bit of absolutely everything. This is kind of a supermarket with a little bit of extra things to it. Now there is a few unique things in here and this is one of them right at the front. This is actually pay by weight food items, but it's rice. So there's different types of rice. There's different uh, kind of nuts and dried fruit on the other side. So you can actually scoop how much you want. This last one over here is sugar. Uh, or if you want, there's actually some bagged up ones on the top. And this is something I haven't seen before in Russia. Uh, I've seen them with candy, but uh, have you seen them before? Has anybody who's watching these videos seen this? Where well, you can get uh, pay by weight uh, pastas and rices. And this is very unique as well. These are all different spices. I'm gonna to wanna to say herbs and spices, but predominantly different spices. And then you can uh, weigh them out how much you need. Rather than buying sachets, you can get more of something or less of something. That's very, very unique to Kyrgyzstan, I think. I don't think chips are too unique, but I think this is very neat to see this. Actually, the reason there's no shopping trolleys is they're all full of stock everywhere. And let's see if we can walk around and get a good look. So the way you actually pay for these pay by weight things, you weigh, you get your bag of the item that you want. They actually even show you what to do. Choose the button and put the sticker on yourself. So there's a number that's associated with different items here. Look the shelled peanuts, and different uh, dried, I think these are uh, dates. So yeah, very interesting and if you are from Russia, I'd say this is very similar to a Lenta supermarket. Uh, from Australia, we don't really have something in this kind of middle range. It's more like an IGA. If uh, you know the IGA brand in America, I really couldn't sort of narrow it down to one brand. It's smaller than a Walmart, although the store is huge. It's uh, not as big as a, a Walmart store. Very small frozen section. 
just pilmene, which is the uh, dumplings. And I think they've got some manti here, which is the local version. Walking on a little bit further. They do seem to have a lot of snacks in this store. And biscuits, chips, any kind of uh, chocolate. There seems to be a lot. They've even got eggs just quite randomly in the middle of the store here. There is some kind of organization to it, but then this sort of stuff kind of in the random spots. The uh, one thing with this store as well, they don't have a particularly big meat section. A lot of people uh, would go to butchers. Also a big amount of the population here is also Muslim. So they don't eat pork, uh, pretty much uh, chicken or beef or meat, or as I might point out in another video, horse is actually a national delicacy. And then the fans flashing lights. Over here we've got all the oils, flowers, milk, and this lady doing some restocking. So this store has really everything and more as we come around to the yogurts. Can I get away from that flashing light? I don't think so. And another thing, the fact that we're Kyrgyzstan borders China, there's a lot of different noodles and instant noodles that you can get in Kyrgyzstan. Of course, pasta, I think that's everywhere in the world. Another shopping trolley here. Customers aren't using them, but the store is. Lots of canned uh, meats. I am trying to avoid these flashing lights in the fridges as I'm walking around, but it's a little bit hard. I ever try to adjust the settings, but they don't seem to improve. A lot of different types of hams, salamis, sausages. And the one thing I want to show you down here is on this lower shelf. Now, if you're not particularly into seeing raw food, I'd say to look away, but they've got the smoked fish right here, kind of on the open shelves, literally just out for you to grab a smoked fish, maybe grab a couple of beers and then head on home. Got the eggs here. I think these are quail eggs. Somebody correct me in the comments if I've got it wrong, but I think that's quail. And I like this, how they do this in uh, a lot of these countries. They've got the cakes and then right above it, you've got vodka. Walking around a little bit more, the snack theme seems to continue where there is just biscuits, biscuits and more biscuits. And have a look at all these dried biscuits here. And it's something that you sort of drink with tea or a hot drink and you know, there's not just one or two different types, there's probably 30 or 40 different types. And here is all the pay by weight candy. So again, you get yourself a plastic bag, uh, pick up how, amount, how much you want, and then weigh it out on the scales. So you're not made to buy a bag of a brand. You can just get a few of something or a few of another brand as you wish. And more snacks, more and more. There's actually even some healthy food right here. I've had that comment a few times. Russell, show us the health food section of a supermarket and this is about it. I think generally in the Soviet Union and Russia, it wasn't really a thing. There was enough normal food that health foods weren't a requirement as such. And being that I'm from Moscow, Coca-Cola is here and Fanta, Pepsi, and that's pretty much it. You know, there's the different waters here. And that's it for cool drinks. They do actually have Chernogolovka, which is the very well-known Russian brand. There's a plum flavor. And there's a lemon flavor. So that's available. I was hoping to find some Australian wine, but it seems like there isn't any in this store. There is plenty of other countries' wines. I noticed South African wine here, but the Australians aren't very well represented in this store. 
The one thing that's uh, very normal in supermarkets here in Kyrgyzstan and in Russia is alcohol in the supermarket. And literally on the same shelves where is normal products, they've got all the choices of vodkas and whiskeys that you basically are buying at the same time as your normal supermarket shopping. It's not necessary to go to a standalone alcohol store. You know, you've got I mean, not every brand in this shop, but definitely a good choice. The only thing I do find disappointing in the different stores I've been to while I've stayed here in Bishkek in the capital is the bread selection isn't very abundant. There is only just a few types of bread. Now the more common one to buy is over here. This kind of like a uh, round uh, bread roll, I think it would be described as. I uh, can never get the name right for this, but this is the standard one that you buy. You just tear it off. You can have it essentially with any meal. Um, and then you just eat it as part of the, the, the meal on the table. So as I walk on out of Globus, I want to thank you for watching this video and this walk around of a Kyrgyzstan typical supermarket. This is very typical. It's got that kind of eclectic mix of things. It's got some unique things that are only in Kyrgyzstan. And then there's a lot of things that we're used to seeing anywhere. But these Glob Globus brand stores are throughout Kyrgyzstan, mostly in the larger towns and cities. So I hope you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up, as I don't watch my step very well. And if I don't want to shop in the supermarket, they've got an outdoor uh, market right here, right next door. So yeah, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I know a lot of people do and don't like supermarket tours, but I think if you're watching this, you might have found that interesting, I think. Again, let me know in the comments some of the things that you might have noticed that are different. Uh, I put another video for you to watch after this one. You can check it out right away now. Maybe it's something you haven't seen on the channel. I did actually do a tour of a local apartment here. Maybe you want to check out that video. That's the one I'll put for you to watch. And I'm off on another adventure. Bye, everybody.